the you know the win you had against Rice, start three and zero first time in the conference that you guys have started three and zero. What did it, what was it like in the locker room after that win? Uh, you know, full of energy, it was exciting. You know, we wanted to come out and win. That's what we did. Anytime we win, you know, it's great. And everybody's together. It's really exciting. You know, everybody's pretty good about it. Can you talk about Jeff Godfrey? He signed Kamari Aiken on that first play from scrimmage. You guys are more of a run-based team as always, but to start off the game with a pass like that, what does it say about you guys and your versatility? Yeah, it's true. You know, uh, we like to run the ball a good bit, but uh, until we threw a play at action in the first game, and you know, we got lucky. He hit him down there for a long pass. And it, was, it was awesome. Luckily, we stuck it in. You know, it was a good way to start the game. Uh, how do you feel the offensive line is meshing right now through seven games? There's been, you know, a couple mix-up players coming in and out. What is that? Uh, having that type of depth on the line, how does that help you guys? You know, all ten of us are like brothers out there. We're always together. We all like each other, and he can mix us up in any way. You know, we're all we work out there together. We know we have each other's back. It's just great chemistry that we have right now. Can you talk about Aubrey Leggins and just his improvement since coming into the game for Chris Martin, who's been sort of injured lately? Oh yeah, Aubrey's been doing great. He really came in. He stepped up when we needed him to step up. You know, we can really trust him out there. It's very exciting. You know, he came in. He's worked his ass off. You know, all last week you guys were saying you're not going to talk about overlook Rice, not talk about anyone else. Well, now you've got East Carolina. What's the first thing that comes to mind when you hear that name? You know, we just really want to beat East Carolina. You know, that's all we think about is beating them. We come out every day, work hard to do that. And then that's our goal. It's just a win. You've been here since 06, and, um, you know, not to your liking, you guys have lost all four games that you've been here. Can you just describe what it's meant like each game? Because they've been pretty close. They haven't been blown out. Uh, just the frustration of losing to them each year? Yeah, it always sucks, you know. We, we hate losing, especially the East Carolina four years straight. So hopefully we can do something to change that this year. You know, this year you're playing at Bright House Network Stadium. How, how much of a difference is that instead of going to Greenville? Oh, it's awesome. You know, the atmosphere here is great. We always, we know we always have an opportunity to win the stadium, no matter what. With our great fans, you know, they're always going to help us out as much as possible. And we, we always feel the energy of the we walk on the field. How much easier is it for Jeff to not have to go to a tough environment like that in a big game like this, which could determine the East? Great. Jeff's, Jeff's doing a great job, you know. Wherever we are, he has a lot of poise. And I would have just as much confidence in, in wherever hell, you know, any place. And, but, you know, we try to have it here, you know, in our own stadium, you know, with our fans on us. Uh, can you talk about LD Crow, his first play? fumbles the ball, but then he comes out big and throws that touchdown pass to Ricky K and just kind of settle down. Yeah, it's exciting to see him out there and do well, you know. But LD works hard every day, and, you know, more uh, time he gets to get uh, a little, some reps is better. All right.